This mechanism is the lead screw. The lead screw is very interesting because it uses a couple different types of movement. Let's just take a moment and take a look at what the lead screw does. I turn this rotary, I turn this handle in a rotation rotary manner, and this right here carriage will move down the mechanism as I turn it. Notice it goes in one direction as I turn it. This means my input movement is rotary and my output movement is linear. My input movement is rotary. My output movement here is linear. It's going in one direction. The reverse internal. <laughs> now, how many revolutions of this crank will it take for this to go one inch on my ruler? We'll count. One, two, three, four, almost five. About 4.75 rotations to make the carriage travel one inch. This would change if we changed what type of threads we had on this screw block, but here in our classroom we only have this size. So for this to travel one inch, it'll be 4.75 rotations. The flow of power, meaning can I turn this handle with this carriage, is it reversible? If I push or pull on it, it will not make that spin. So the flow of power is not reversible. What this means, and one of the advantages of this mechanism is, it's very powerful. So your output, the force or torque, is extremely increased. But the, sp but the speed is not, it's much slower. The direction of travel, you'll notice, for this carriage moving in a linear fashion is reversible. So you can change the direction of travel. It'll go this direction, and if I turn the crank the other way, it'll go the opposite direction. So the travel, the direction of travel is reversible. This is the lead screw mechanism.